Hey, what's up, y'all? Martech79 here. And man, this was a weird one turning on the camera and starting to film, I swear. I think I saw on my YouTube algorithm today at least 15 to 20 different reviews for this guy already up. Uh, <laughs> hey, man, I respect the hustle. I had to work, so that's why I'm getting my video out so late. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, obviously, if you clicked on my video, you probably already have seen a review of this one, so I'm going to try to stay away from that. But we're just going to do a run-through of a comparison between the SH Figure Arts Highly Expensive versus the Black Series. So I'm going to do the pros and cons of each figure, and we're going to go from there. So this basically goes on eBay and Amazon for like $140 right now versus $40 if you can find them retail. So we're going to explore to see on which version that you should get. All right, man, let's go ahead. It's not really much to talk about with the package. It's just really cool right there. So some accessories that he comes with here. Pretty cool. It's a pretty decent looking package for $40, man. Freeze that if you, if you want to read it. And okay, let's crack them open, man. Let's get started. And we're back. First off, man, we're going to start off with a Grogu comparison. Oh, yeah. So this is the one that comes with the Black Series. And then this is the one that comes just packaged by itself. So so uh, the one on the left does have articulation, where the one on the right is just basically a statue. But he does have uh, some painted apps at the top portion of his coat there. Um, he has more some better detailing on his eyes as well. You can also you can actually see some pupils going on there. Detail, I feel like the detailing on the hair is a bit better as well. Spin him around, he's still just a short, stands up quite well. If I had to pick one, I think I would go with the one on the right, the new one here. It's probably going to be the one that takes the main spot in the museum. Next, I want to compare the accessories first. So they both come with the long sniper rifle here. Top is the SH Figure Arts, bottom is the Black Series. As you can see, Black Series looks decent, but the SH Figure Arts is the clear winner. This is more highly detailed, shinier, more, more crisp. And of course, also comes with the electrified version as well, so really cool. Next we have the pistol here. Left is the SH Figure Arts, right is the Black Series. And, I don't know, I'm kind of torn on this one, man. I think I kind of prefer the Black Series. I mean, it's got a more silver look to it. I think, I feel like in the show, the gun was darker, though. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I feel like it was darker in the show. So, I kind of, I personally like the silvery look a little bit more, but this one is more show accurate. And then, we have the jetpack here. The left is the SS Figures, and the right is the Black Series. Self-explanatory, I mean, you know, how much detail can you really put into the, his jetpack here? I do prefer the uh, SH Figure Arts. It's got a more silvery look to it, more show accurate. And pegs on, pretty similar. A peg on the front there, peg on the front there. So then, of course, you know, if you want to plug in the fire effects for with the SH Figure Arts, you can do that as well. So pretty cool pretty cool and then the other accessories that he that the SH figures does not come with got the best car little money things here pretty cool got a detonator and then we have the child's little pod here so close up on that spin that around it's got a really cool gold finish to it pretty sweet cool little knickknack to pose Grogu in. Okay, now for Mando himself. So, of course, we have a left for the SS Figure Arts, right for the Black Series. Let's go through it step by step. So, helmet to helmet. Obviously, Figure Arts is way more crisp, shinier. Black Series is not bad, though. Not bad at all. I don't think I prefer the Figure Arts, though, just for its crispness. Chest plate. But kind of uh, unrealistic cleanness to it compared to the black series more kind of form-fitting rugged I think I prefer the black series uh, uh, kind of form-fitting more realistic looking chest play it's like the SS figure arts is almost too too clean so yeah same thing with the stomach pattern there it's almost too clean for the figure arts 
Now, of course, I do have that top pusher for that wrist there. I just took it off for review purposes, but it looks exactly the same as the Black Series portion here. So then, of course, like this can be taken off and you can put the fire flame on there or the firecrackers, so on and so forth. And it also comes with a knife, too. So now, legs, I like, I feel like I like the SH Figure Arts legs a little bit better. Now, you can see the pants here, but then on this left thigh pad here, you have some more detailing going on there compared to this one here. So, compared to the shins here, like, yeah, it looks good, man. I like both of them. Can't lie. Let's put them to this side here. So, if you remember my review from the figure arts, you know I'm not a fan of cloth cape at all. So, I'm definitely more so a fan of the hard plastic cape for sure now when it comes to the symbol on the shoulder pad i think i prefer i think i like the black series symbol a little bit better yeah. <laughs> the arms look good gauntlets look good um figure it's way more clean on that though of course ammo on the shin guards here it's really cool obviously you get that toe hinge there spin them to the back here Looks okay. Nothing really too too crazy going on there. Okay. It's a tough decision, man. I'm not going to lie. I mean, if we're just talking about... If we take the price aspect out of it, you know, it's, it's a tough choice, man. But, I mean, if we add price in there, obviously... Black Series is your is the clear clear winner. I mean, this is the Essence Figure Arts is nowhere near a hundred dollars better than the Black Series. I mean, it's not even close. Oh, and then of course another cool feature about this Black Series figure is that the helmet can come off to reveal the Din Darjin face sculpt here. So let's do that. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, let's put that back on. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad, but yeah, let's let's put that helmet back on. Man. Time, bing, head down, head up, rotate 360 degrees, tilt, tilt, arm, rotate 360 degrees, up, down, bicep swivel, that is a negative captain, elbow swivel, that is a yes captain, push it up, 90 degrees, go. Straighten it back out. Wrist. Rotate that 360 degrees. Go. Bing. Curve it up. Curve it out. Chest. Push it out. Push it in. Rotate. No. Kind of. Well, you can tilt it. Left. Right. Back. Forward. Crunch. Now you cannot rotate it though with the armor belt there. Leg. Kick out backwards knee joint being all the way articulation good rotate uh no cannot rotate the thigh cannot rotate the knee ankle up down up curve curve you can rotate it i ain't doing that though and gun in the hollister here pretty sweet it's gonna be the exact same thing on this side here yeah so we tried to put in the jetpack here I don't know how I feel about it though kind of makes them top heavy this plugs in pretty simple like bing stand them up but with that though I'm not a fan of how the hard plastic sits over top of the uh, jetpack once you get that on there so yeah, definitely makes them top heavy though. You got to angle the angle those legs right and get him to stand up correctly. Not too bad though, honestly. Okay, so this is how I'm gonna post him on my shelf, man. We got we're gonna have the long rifle posted on his back here, and I'm sure you're wondering, hey, Mark Jack 79, how the hell did you get a bass car staff <laughs> with your figure? I didn't. I made it. <laughs> <laughs> so tell you what if this uh if you're if you're interested you know just hit that like button and if this video gets enough likes then i'll make a whole nother video of how i made this uh bass car staff yes sir pretty cool huh it's actually quite quite simple if you have the right parts so all right let's look at this uh this pod for grogu real quick so this, so here's how you open it up 
So I mean, you just simply just stick a nail in that in this little indenture here, and flip this little top portion open, and that will reveal our Grogu inside, chilling, using his baby force. <laughs> Pretty sweet, man. I like it. I like it a lot. So don't know where quite where if I'm gonna put this one on the main shelf or the SH Figure Arts, but if I had to choose between the two of them, price obviously, you know black series wins hands down but i do appreciate certain aspects of the sh figure arts though i think i'm leaning more towards keeping him on the main shelf but man this is still a really good good figure and he will most definitely have a spot on my display somewhere as well so all right man so so let's go ahead and take all this stuff down to the museum and we will finish out here so wouldn't you know it when i was carrying all this stuff downstairs to the museum the long rifle from sh figure arts snapped in half in my pocket oh come on man it's awful sacrifices must be made i guess <laughs> and we are back people and now we have our black series mando on the shelf got him next to the first edition ahsoka star wars rebels ahsoka at least cannot wait for that inevitable mandalorian black series ahsoka to be announced <laughs> inevitable gonna be super cool we have the new grogu right there looking pretty cool we have the best car money in the jetpack right there Got him holding his uh, best car staff, custom, pretty sweet. Got him next to the Cal Kestis and the second sister. Like how that turned out. We'll have our Hesse's Figure Arts Mandalorian on the main shelf. I like that as well, with the child on his wrist. Really like it, man. Liking how that turned out. I mean, like I said, if I had to pick one, I think I'd still go with the Hesse's Figure Arts for you know just the aesthetics but price i mean you cannot beat the black series at all it's not a bad figure at all it's actually pretty damn good so yeah man so okay so that's gonna do it uh, as always thanks everybody for watching um i do have some more star wars stuff coming up as well we have the armory coming up next so stay tuned for that if you want to help support the channel right now we're at 1910 subs i really want to get to 2000 before the year's end if we do we would do a huge giveaway yet to be announced but i promise it'll be something good so as always you can follow me at youtube.com slash 79 i'm also on facebook instagram and twitter and as always i will see you guys on the next one i'll catch you guys later bye